Hello everyone, this is Hugh. Um, today I'm going to review MT4i, which is another uh, Forex reporting platform. Um, last week I reviewed my FX book and it was pretty good. So I want to check out uh, MT4i because I've heard a lot about it. Um, quite a few other people have said it's actually better than my FX book. So um, uh, let's check it out. Okay, first of all, we're looking at the statement screen, and I'm not even logged in. This is what somebody would see if I gave them um, my account report. So I think that's helpful to look at it and see how MT4i breaks it down. So on the first page here for statement, we can see all the closed orders, open orders, and pending orders. And I just put in a few, um, you know, bogus trades to um, just for demonstration. Uh, what MT4i allows you to do is you can either log in directly from this website to your broker's um, website uh, to pull down the information. Actually, not technically, it's not your broker's website. It's to MetaTrader 4, and it pulls down the information. Um, I don't know every half hour or so. Or MT4i also has a um, expert advisor that you can install on your MetaTrader platform and it will send um, updates down to your uh, to your statement or to your uh, MT4i account which will update your statement and it um, it does that whenever you want you can set it to a minute or you know 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever you want and that'll update these stats so very flexible in the way that it works and um, I, I liked it it worked pretty well for me so uh, let's get to the next part. The next part, or the next tab, is stats, and um, there are quite a few stats here. Uh, pretty similar to what my FX book had, but I think there are quite a few other things here that um, make does make this a better reporting um, platform. So as you can see, stats and close trades, uh, trough to balance, um, other stats here. You can have charts graphing your um, your profit and loss. And I think where MT4i really shines is these pull-down menus. As you can see, there's an extensive amount of uh, reports that you can uh, select, and that's that. Uh, I don't know if you'd use most of these, but it can be very helpful in pick, in figuring out or showing at least you know how well you're doing in your trading so I think that's great um, so those are charts obviously you have open and closed orders um, and the rest of this stuff here is pretty similar to my FX book and any other type of reporting software that you're going to use um, you know how well are you doing long shorts uh, symbols which you know which symbols are doing the best for you and there's actually oops, let me go back and there's actually quite a bit of information here on the on the right side, as you can see. So you get your uh, average pips per trade, uh, lots traded, total size, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you got symbol and direction. So how are you doing per pair, um, you know, long or short? Then you got the other things like month, the other week, day, hour, stuff like that. And an interesting note here too is that you can create your own charts or you can um, filter on one of these uh, items and you can just chart that one item on filter chart. Uh, so that's that's uh, very useful. So we continue to day of the week, um, expert advisors. This is kind of interesting but it, because it allows you to analyze any expert advisors that are, you, you are using, you know, which are automated trading programs. So that, that's pretty helpful. Um, and then I, when you get to this last tab here, this is the one that really interests me because um, I've never heard of this, you know, outside of, um, I mean, previously. And MAE and MFE are two ways of tracking, you know, how well your trade is going during the trade. So MAE is Maximum Adverse Excursion and MFE is maximum favorable excursion so during that period of time how much for or against your position did that trade move before you actually close it out and I think that's kind of an interesting thing to um, 
watch because um, especially if you're if you're taking profits too early or, I mean I'm sorry if you're taking profit and the trade was uh, going in your direction or it was favorable even more than the profit that you took that tells you you know maybe you should be hanging on for a little bit longer or taking a bigger profit and vice versa on the downside if you're taking a loss um, and you know and you see that there was there was a, a favorable maximum favorable excursion uh, during that trade you know you could have had a gain out of it so that's something that you might want to go back and look at so I think that's pretty interesting um, <clears throat> getting back to the other tabs at the very top here you got risk so how much are you risking what's your risk of ruin so that's you know how many how many trades do you need to blow out your account basically um, he, that's not something that I really look at too much because I know how much I'm risking on each trade but that's something good to look at if your results are a little wild then uh, you can download to Excel um, profile is just your information and portfolio you can set up portfolios um, if you're logged in I'm not logged in here so yeah that's about it so overall um, I think I'm gonna be using MT4i uh, for my reporting I think this is a much more although it's not as pretty as uh, my FX book is it is more functional and I think that the ability to drill down to all these different stats is very um, very useful so uh, that's what I'm gonna be using from now on so if you're interested check it out mt4i.com it's a free account and you can set it up on a demo account or a live account whatever you want um, just like my FX book though you have to have a MetaTrader set up so just set up a demo account uh, with one of the brokers and you're good to go um, I would recommend if you're gonna demo trade this I would try using um, IBFX just because their demos don't expire if you um, if you do trades within a 20-day period um, the downside to using them as a demo is that they have very limited pairs to trade so unless you're gonna just be trading the ma if you're gonna be trading the majors then that's fine but if you're gonna be trading stuff like the pound Swiss pound yen um, you might have to try another broker and kind of live with the fact that you know your account is gonna um, you're gonna have to get a new account every 30 days so um, but if you're trading live then this is great you can just hook it up and give it a try so hope that helped and thanks for watching